Hi, it's Miss Vicky, and I'm here in Wellfleet down in Cape Cod. I was making my morning walk. I noticed the water was rising and that I'm trapped on the island for a few hours with all my friends. But as it turns out, that I'm not the only one trapped here. Some sea turtles who were making their migration from Maine to Florida have gotten trapped in Cape Cod and washed up on the seashore as well. Thank goodness for some warm-hearted locals who have captured some of the sea turtles along with the Audubon Society and some local aquariums have warmed up those turtles and delivered them to their environment in Florida. And that's why today's Spontaneous Creations Red Toolbox Challenge has something to do with sea turtles. And I'm about to head inside and hand the red toolbox to my friend's kids. They're about to take a Spontaneous Creation PSA Public Service Announcement Challenge where they'll create a confectionery land that will raise awareness about sea turtles in Massachusetts. Okay, here I go. I have my red toolbox and I'm about to give the girls their challenge. Are you ready to find out what happens? Me too. Hey guys! Hi! Hi! Hi. Are you wondering why I gathered you here? Yeah. yeah. What this is all about? Well, yeah. I brought a red toolbox challenge. Are you ready to take the challenge? Yeah! Okay, inside this box, you just have to, one of you has to open it up and read to the audience what it is and then you'll have an hour from that time to get started. Raising awareness to help support saving the diamondback and terrapin turtles um, and the Kemp Redley sea turtles that frequent Cape Cod every year. Your challenge starts now. Cake balls and they use rice crispy to So we are, we're doing an aquarium for all of the turtles because some aquariums take care of these turtles that are endangered and get brought up to sea. So shout out to them. We also want to give a big shout out to all the Visco girls out there because <laughs> they came up with this petition to no longer use plastic straws to save these turtles. So save the turtles for all of fun fact. Uh, did you know that actually straws only make up less than 2% of the plastic in the ocean? The real danger is the fishing nets that kill the turtles. 
Leonor and Clara, can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing? Well, if you come get a closer look at our extremely well done turtle, we're actually making it in the shape of a turtle and then adding the habitat on top. Oh, amazing. To yeah. show kids where turtles live. live. How'd you come up with that idea? We just started turtles. coming up with turtles. So it's spontaneous? Yeah. Like a spontaneous creation. Just what the show's about. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing right now. Um, right now we're just finishing up making the eggs of the sea turtles. Okay, so why are you making those eggs? What does that mean? Sea turtles actually, even though they live in the sea, they lay their eggs on land so that the babies can breathe. So next, we're going to be making the Visco Girls. So we'll be using uh, this meringue, this meringue, this one, and all different kinds to make the little bodies. And then afterwards, we'll be using a darker brown. We'll be making a darker brown to make the hair, as well as blonde, any kind. And then I'm going to be using all different colors, like pink, purple, light pink, yellow, and orange. To make the scrunchies. Any kind. And they'll be watching the little turtles. Having their fun time. So yeah, let's begin. Yay! So your Visco girls are standing on the edge at the aquarium? Yeah. Well, they're sitting because they're bleachers. They're sitting. Very cute. Nice. And those are the baby sea turtles? Yeah, and this yeah. is the mama one. But they're, but they're all, yeah, but they're all having fun, so. Hey, Leonor, tell me a little bit about what you're doing now. I noticed you crushing stuff. What are you doing? It's like crushing the blue stuff to put on top of the water. It's a cool technique. Yeah, don't do this, though. <laughs> don't do this at home, kids. Yeah, and nothing else. Yes, it should. It's not always about competition. It's more about spreading awareness, having fun, being spontaneous, and totally being creative. That's why we're gonna post both of them together and hope that maybe people are inspired to do something about saving the turtles in Cape Cod. So maybe you'll volunteer at your local aquarium or Audubon Society. In the meantime, save the turtles. Save the turtles. <laughs> <laughs>